Hello, I'm here today to tell you about Ms. Anderson. Ms. Anderson's got a problem, and this problem is an instructional problem. Ms. Anderson is the corporate trainer for the HR department, and she has just hired a bunch of new human resources hirees, and she needs to train them in how to do, uh, how to understand the company's HR policies and procedures. In the past, Ms. Anderson has always just given a long PowerPoint presentation in which she went over the entire corporate manual and talked about all the policies and issues and basically spent a day um, boring them to death with a massive presentation. The problem was, of course, that the hirees, the new trainees, when they went to actually perform their jobs to become human resources um, employees at this company, they needed much more training. They needed mentoring. They needed, in other words, some real world experience. So Ms. Anderson decided to try another way. Her solution is case-based learning. Ms. Anderson talked to some actual human resources um, people in the field and found out that what HR people do all day long is mostly deal with complex cases where they have to make difficult decisions about particular um, employees of the company and deal with all kinds of difficult issues. And this requires knowing the HR policies of the company, of course, but also understanding people and how those policies apply in a given situation. So before we meet Ms. Anderson, we need to know that she has already put the trainees into teams and done a little ice-breaking exercise so that they can get to know each other a little bit better. And finally, she's explained that they're going to use case-based learning for this day in order to learn how to know the company's procedures, but more importantly, how to put those procedures into place in an actual case. So the case that she's going to go over is just one of several that she's going to do on this particular day. And this is going to help the new employees learn the HR policies by applying those policies in a particular problem. Now, the names, of course, have been changed, but these problems are based on real problems that her company has met in the past. Okay, now that everyone has found the theme, let's jump right into today's challenge. Management is considering laying off one of the maintenance team workers and has asked HR to make a recommendation. You're going to have several cases to work on today. Each case is about a particular member of the maintenance team. Your team's job is to review each case and make a recommendation to management. Let's start with Bill. A little bit of information about Bill. He's a senior team member. He does have a physical handicap. He also has a history of poor job performance. Under the previous management, allowances were made for Bill. Issues such as speaking informally with clients, coming to work disheveled, and not completing projects on time were, to were tolerated. As HR professionals, you need to be aware of your responsibilities in regards to the American with Disabilities Act. Bill's handicap complicates this case. Or does it? These are the resources your team will be working with to reach your determination. His personnel file, performance evaluations, company HR manual, and the ADA rights and responsibilities. This information has been provided to your team and is in a folder on each team's table. Let's begin. And now, I'll explain why case-based learning is going to help solve Ms. Anderson's particular instructional problem. But before I do, I should explain what she's about to do next. We just looked at one little moment out of her um, morning's introduction, and she's now going to introduce several more um, uh, employees, and each employee is going to have the same kind of problem as the first one, Bill. They're going to have some reason why they might be um, the person that we should decide to fire, um, but they're also going to have some compelling reason why they might not be the person that she should fire. So if the challenge is that they've got to fire one person from this particular department, and each person's got a reason for and against, then that is a case, and that case presents a real-world HR kind of problem. Now, 
what strategies that Ms. Anderson is using in this video make her uh, are examples of case-based learning. First of all, there's an open-ended resolution. There, she doesn't give the answer to the problem, she just presents the problem itself. Next, the company materials have to be applied to solve this problem, but that's being applied in a real-world kind of context. They're not just memorizing the company policies, they're applying the company policies. And next, the learners, in this case, the new hires, the new HR hires, will be motivated to try to solve this problem because, well, their job depends on it. They need to know how to solve these kinds of problems, and seeing these problems here in training will help them understand that these are the kinds of problems they will face and will help them develop strategies for facing these particular problems. Also, the problem tells a compelling story. Each case is a person, is a human being. We've got to make a momentous decision. Do we fire that person or not fire that person? And uh, that's a difficult but important decision that HR people will have to make. This creates a dilemma. Ms. Anderson, excuse me, creates a dilemma. And that dilemma is, which one do you fire? And she does not provide the answer to that dilemma. That's the trainee's job. But to answer that question, to do their job, they will need to discuss amongst themselves. They'll need to pick up the training manuals and leaf through them and read and find some context, find some uh, reason, justification, motivation. They've got to share ideas and collaborate as they together come up with the best way to solve this problem. And this strategy will perhaps provoke conflict, but that's a strong word. By conflict, Ms. Anderson means that the HR hirees will maybe have a disagreement, will maybe need to discuss, will have to provide um, reasons for what they say, and those reasons will go towards making a decision. And ultimately, because this is a case, they have to make a decision, and these hires need to make a decision that reflects the kind of decisions they'll make in the real world. Ms. Anderson's new employees are more likely to remember um, what they have learned in this lesson because they will have applied it in a real scenario. And that kind of application of knowledge creates better long-term memories than if they'd simply sat in a dark room watching Ms. Anderson do all the work of presenting the um, original, the way she used to present, death by PowerPoint. That is our example for case-based learning. I hope it was informative.